ZepBound Shot Day Checklist. I've got for you today, if you're on ZepBound 2.5 milligrams or Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, I've got a full checklist and a free printable for you for your ZepBound Injection Day Checklist. I'll link down in the description link below my gift to you for being part of the Countess of Shopping community. If you don't know how to access here on, um, on YouTube, the description link, you gotta hit the more button twice now. It's the hyperlink once. And then again, and we'll pull up all of my free links. Let's go ahead and dive into our checklist. I'm someone, hi friends, if you don't know me, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. The last year and a half of my life on Manjaro and ZetBound because of the shortages, it's varied a little bit. And then most recently now on the compound, Terzepatide, while ZetBound is in shortage. And I've lost a whopping 90 pounds. And so on, today, on my 100 pound weight loss journey, on today's episode, I want to dive in because a beautiful viewer, Tatiana, hi, Tatiana, had asked me in one of her comments, hey, Elizabeth, can you talk about a checklist for the actual shot day? And then also talk about mitigating side effects. Stay till the end. I'm going to go through all about mitigating side effects of some of my hacks, cheats, and jump overs to prevent some of them and what I, what's worked well for me. As always, this is my experience, strength, and hope. Talk to your own healthcare provider. And if you are looking for a telehealth company um, who prescribes both brand names and compounds, I will link that down in the description link below. Let's dive in. Number one, mitigating time of side effects is first mapping out I am type A. And so I like to pull out my good old Google calendar and map out the time of day in which I'm having my ZepBound shot. And from that, reverse engineer. So what you would do, or what's worked well for me is first tracking side effects. If this is your first shot, you obviously can't do that. But I have a free tracker linked down in the description link below on countessofshopping.com, my free blog for all things for you. The time of day, and for me typically, because I've tracked it and I know my data, I start feeling things mildly, like a mild incline at the six hour mark. So if I'm taking it at noon, typically around six is when it just starts to go. And I will feel those side effects for me peak 24 hours, and then it's still up there around the 48 hour mark. So from that data, I can go into my calendar and then reverse engineer, okay, what time do I wanna be feeling if I am feeling anything? Now, one thing to note is you may not feel anything. You may not feel any side effects. You may not feel like all of these things that the media over exaggerates, which we're gonna talk about at the end too. Stay till that end. There's an important piece of data you absolutely need to know about severe side effects that you may not know. Um, an interesting fact. So the time of day is gonna be really important for when you take your shot. So that's on our checklist number one is, what time of day are you gonna do, right? What time of day are you gonna do that and when? For me, um, I liked, when I first started, I liked doing my shot on Mondays because with my job, um, I'm a video marketing strategist and an executive producer, so I'll fly out to clients. It was easier for me to power through and work without eating as much and maximize, ride that wave of appetite suppression on Monday. So I'd feel it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and then it would start waning. But the drawbacks of that are half-life doses are um, the last six, day six and day seven. It starts on day five. So with that, I'd feel it if my shot date was on Monday, I would feel way less appetite suppression. It would be in that half-life dose starting on day five, day six for sure on Saturday, and for sure on Sunday. For you and a lot of people in my free encouragement group, which has thousands of amazing people in it too, by the way, my gift to you, linked in the description link below, with that, um, some people don't like having it on the weekend, having more appetite suppression. They would somewhat go off to the races or off the rails, with having appetite suppression. For me, I kind of liked it because it still makes it pleasurable to have food. <laughs> there's been talk about how there's not that, if you're not hungry and you're not eating, it's taking away one of the pleasure points of being a human being, which is indulging in food. But for me, so I like having that aspect, but I could really maximize, and that's big, my biggest question for you for tip number one of this checklist is, what's gonna maximize for your schedule, your work life, your family life, your personal goals, what's gonna maximize that best for you? Is it gonna be on Monday? Is it gonna be midweek? Is it gonna be taking it on Friday? Maybe you wanna conk out for your first shot and you have a traditional Monday through Friday job. You take your shot, Friday afternoon or Friday evening. So then over the weekend, you feel like crap. <laughs> and maybe you won't feel like crap. So we're going to talk about that too. But so tip number one uh, of the checklist of our ZepBound shot day is what time of day are you taking the stinking shot? <laughs> number two, um, protein focus. 
I did not focus on this on the beginning and I wish I had, I wish I, I wish I had had someone be like, Hey, focus in on protein on shot day. Um, and the day before ideally. So you'll feel some of those effects too of protein. We take protein in the GLP one community seriously because of muscle mass loss from weight loss. That's not because of GLP-1 medication. Muscle mass loss happens with weight loss in general. So if you've had weight loss from like Atkins or keto or bariatric surgery, all of that big ball of wax, muscle mass loss is part of that. So to combat that, having protein. And so for me, typically it would just be a protein shake. Now I've tested and tried pretty much every single protein shake under the sun. And I've got three that I really love and recommend that work well for me. They may, you do you, but for me, I... Um, was asked a lot about plant-based protein. So this is by Optimizers. It's a plant-based protein. I will link that in the description link below. And it's chocolate, which I'm not a big, like I'm more of like a Skittles kind of gal. <laughs> they will offer me candy. See, it, goes back, it always goes back to food. It, one doesn't get 100 plus pounds overweight without having some sort of food things. So I will add into this. I do like adding in, um, they have a like a salted caramel. It's collagen. So I just add that in to make it a little bit caramelier tasting. BioCare is another protein company, which is amazing. They're made specifically for semi-glutide, terazepatide patients to help reduce side effects. They have a chocolate one and they also have a mixed fruit. I love the mixed fruit one. I love both of them, but I love the mixed fruit one. My boy, the Duke, my eight-year-old loves the chocolate one. So I do feed it to my kid. It's awesome. They're really great protein shakes. These have how many grams of protein? 20 grams of protein. Bioptimizers has 23 grams of protein. And then the GNC video I did, I got to test through GNC their um, classic vanilla or French vanilla. I really like that one if you're a vanilla person. So, and that was in my GNC video down on the playlist. So taking a shake, you could do a protein bar. I like the um, bear bell. I keep calling them barbell. I think they're bear bell. I keep calling them the wrong name. My apologies. Those are good. If you want to take a protein bar, if you want to eat like real food, like having some chicken or seafood or um, edamame beans or whatever, you do you boo. But having some sort of protein, for me, I found it lessened side effects. It's one of my hacks and also help to ride that wave of like this graph that we have going with um, appetite suppression. Very, very helpful for me. So um, next, mitigating side effects. One of the things that I bought a year and a half ago, because I saw an awesome influencer, an amazing educator, Maria Emmerich. I love her. I respect her. I think she's a cool lady and she, she knows her stuff. She's science-based. She was recommending, recommending element electrolytes. And then I found out like Olympic athletes use them, FBI snipers. I'm like, oh, Okay. So I bought them and it was the best decision for me for many reasons. I have tested over the last year and a half using element electrolytes at shot day and not using element electrolytes. I think that they're the best because they don't have any dyes, sugar added, junk. Um, they taste salty because they're an electrolyte. So if they're too salty, just add more water. Um, with it, make sure you're consuming water as well. But the electrolytes for me definitely mitigated um, side effects. Definitely, 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 definitely. I've tested over and over and over. Helps to mitigate constipation. And then the inverse of that, if I did get diarrhea, helps with that. Too. Like it's helping with the electrolytes, with the diarrhea. So because we know gastrointestinal issues are quite common, the most common side effects, diarrhea, nausea, constipation, and vomiting. I had said recently I'd never had the vomiting until a couple of weeks ago I ended up throwing up and it was because of my GLP-1 injection. I'm on Zetbound 15 milligrams, the highest dose. So with that, electrolytes for me are part of my checklist. I traditionally will have them on day zero, meaning the day before, the day of, and the next day. I will have just one stick, but I do not one stick in a water bottle. I'll do one stick in a full 40 ounces. So I massively dilute it. <laughs> massively dilute it. And I typically will have that around 11 or noon. I don't have that on an empty stomach right as I wake up. Um... I don't, it, it, typically. Then the other part of that is at nighttime for part of my checklist is magnesium. Magnesium, oh my gosh, I have the Aura Ring. I highly recommend if you're able to, well, it's on my uh, shopping list down below. It's pricey and I get that, but the data that it's provided me, my own personal data, I can go back at the beginning of my journey and I can see in there, okay, what did my sleep look like? What did my body look like? What were stressors? Because it tells you all this stuff that's individualized. Like today I woke up, I didn't sleep well last night. I've had a raging, I've had a zip bound headache, raging zip bound headache. And 
I didn't sleep super well. And it told me, it's like, you're not feeling well today. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> it told me, take it kind of easy today. Yesterday I did Pilates, which by the way, I'm like, who is this woman? Pilates and now able to wear shorts. I've worn shorts in, since my 20s, two decades, 20 plus years, 25 years, 20 years. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. It's crazy. Anyways, I digress. Um, so having magnesium, seven types of magnesium in by optimizers, they have been very generous with the Countess of Shopping community for a very limited time to give away a free bottle of magnesium for you to try it. So I'll link that down below. Take advantage of the free bottle to test. Um, but that helps at night because of muscle recovery, constipation, and sleeping. My first shot my sleep was whacked, whacked. I walked into this not being physically well. Taking <laughs> One's not 100 plus pounds overweight without having an unhealthy relationship with food and not being physically well. It was not physically well. So my sleep was totally whacked out. So I had started with a different type of magnesium that was one type and it, did, it was helpful, but a noticeable difference. And again, I can tell in my sleep scores and all of my aura ring scores, the difference of when I started taking it versus not taking it. The side effects of having the gastrointestinal issues, so planning for those, having in my house things if I do have constipation, which for me, I will use magnesium. Um, I'll make sure I'm eating leafy green foods. Am I getting enough vegetables in and fruit? Like we need that fiber. I'll drink coffee or I've switched over to decaf because I have a high cadence in rhythm. <laughs> Some of you may be like, she talks too fast. Don't. You can slow me down too, by the way. Just change your settings here on YouTube. It's very easy to do to make me half speed. Um, but coffee will help with constipation or decaf coffee. Um, and then there's other things like other uh, fiber things that you can have too. Uh, Bioptimizers has a great prebiotic and probiotic, which is helpful as well. Um, diarrhea. Usually my diarrhea from the side effects was self-induced. I ate something that triggered that, like, right? Like you're eating a bucket of chicken, french fries. It may blow out of you. For, I used to do keto and um, I gained back all of that weight during the pandemic from keto. I had lost a ton. And some of you may remember me from the keto days. I was very proud of that weight loss and gained it all back. It was humiliating and embarrassing. And it makes me, it makes me sad thinking about it, but it's a true testament of chronic obesity management of gaining weight back. And that's why I needed GLP-1 to help me. So having on the air diarrhea, changing my foods, very helpful to stop those triggers. And so if you do find that you're constipated or having blowout diarrhea, that may be one of the triggers. Nausea, I make my own ginger water, get some fresh ginger, cut it up, put it in filtered water, put it in a beautiful glass pitcher and sip on that throughout the day. Or ginger chews, there's a couple that are on my shopping list that I like that don't have as high of sugar. Those chews do have sugar in them, just FYI for my Manjaro weight loss friends um, to trigger your, your, your blood sugars, so be mindful of that. You do have lower sugars, but they're very helpful for that nausea. Or for me, mints, I'll, just, I'll pop a mint, and that usually helps my nausea too. Alcohol pads is the next thing on our checklist. I strongly recommend getting the, the, the you can get, I, I thought I had some in the studio to show you guys. Before I do my injection, and you're gonna do it in one of three places, I have a whole video on the worst injection sites. Make sure you watch that. Excuse me. By the way, it was my um, acid reflux. That is from GLP-1 medication. That's from Zepbound and Majaro, where I feel like I'm like gonna throw up or <laughs> just me. No, um, so those alcohol pads, super helpful for the one of the three sites, the back of the arm. Use the picture that Eli Lilly sends you in the packaging with a purple picture on the back of the arm, near your belly button, or at the top of the thigh. I'm generically giving those specific links. People get very mad at me that I'm not diagramming out. Look at your diagram that gets sent in your, in your box. It shows you in your box packaging your, um, your specific places where to do that. Um, next alcohol pads, and then where are you gonna put the needle afterwards, right? Like these should go somewhere in a sharps container. I have some for sale on my shopping list, but you know what you can do? Eli Lilly tells us, you can just use an old laundry jug. Just make sure you well mark it. If you have house cleaners coming in or dog walkers or family, make sure it's away from kids, elderly people. If you have neurodivergent people, if you have cats or pets, keeping everybody safe, it is your responsibility to keep them safe. Um, but I've switched over to using just a laundry jug. Check your local county and state laws. They may be, or like regulations. It, it's different. It varies from state to state how you dispose of your pens. 
Um, and for our compound people, it's that same thing. Where you put those, you can't just like dump a needle in your garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need to look where you are of how your county and state also tell you how to dispose of those. So that's part of your checklist. You need to figure that out. Um, next on the checklist, for me, if you have family or roommates, I like it quiet when I'm doing my shot. I've got a very amazing eight-year-old who I love to pieces and is the, the highlight of my life that I'm, the count and I have created the Duke and I am so grateful for that. However, when I'm doing my injection, I'm giving myself a shot and I need to just, I need to have quiet. So I'll usually excuse myself when my kid is at a sporting event or at school or somewhere where it's quiet. That may not be applicable for you, but I tend to get distracted and it will hype me up and I want to be calm when I'm taking my injection. Um, next, mitigating the side effects. So we know, I had the privilege of being on the Oprah show for the shame, blame, and weight loss revolution episode that she had as one of the guests. My pictures were on there. If you guys saw that episode, it was March of 2024. There's me talking with Oprah and the after show. The after show is on Hulu. I talked to her at the very, very end for like five minutes. And then also on the actual show, my before and after pictures are on there. My voice segment got cut out, but the before and after pictures are on there. In that, the doctors on that show, I like to cite my source to be, I require myself to be factually accurate. The doctors on that show said that less than 1% of severe side effects happen. If you're in that less than 1%, that sucks. <laughs> but the other 99% of people being mindful of what the severe side effects are, but not letting fear rule me is what I like. It was what I choose to do. The ga severe ones are gallbladder attacks, um, gallbladder, um, appendicitis, pancreatitis, those type ones. If you're having sharp pains and things like that, you do need to talk to your healthcare provider. If you don't have a good healthcare provider, you can go to mine. Mine is amazing. Use the discount code QUEEN. They're awesome. And they also do prescribe compounds as of right now, in addition to brand names. So they prescribe, for example, like Wegovy and ZepBound, and they work with insurance companies with their insurance concierge, and they're awesome. And they have a dietitian call uh, every week, and they do a lot with education included in the membership fee. <clears throat> So less than 1% of people have these severe side effects. So keeping that in mind, uh, mitigating side effects of know what the big ones are. There's also a black box, a black box warning for thyroid cancer, but it's a genetic thyroid cancer, right? So if you have a genetic thyroid cancer, you need to talk to your healthcare provider. But if you don't, I mean, I have thyroid issues. And then once I learned that that specific type of thyroid cancer after talking to my healthcare provider, I was like, oh, well, it's not my family. I'm good. <laughs> so just being aware and talking to your healthcare provider about them. And your healthcare provider knows your medical conditions and can walk through this best with you, not a stranger on the internet. Even though we're besties, still, <laughs> I don't have access to your medical records and you don't have access to mine. Um, mitigating the side effects of knowing diarrhea, constipation, nausea, having stuff on hand with that. Like having, for me, having Pepto-Bismol, very helpful. I had really bad heartburn, having Tums for that. Um, and like acid reflux stuff at the beginning, way more than I do have now, even on ZepBound 15 milligrams. Fatigue, um, that I allow myself looking back at my schedule to be able to rest. Electrolytes play a factor in that too for me. I really, like I just, I'm really very tired today. Part of that was my sleep thing I was talking about, but also I'm near shot day. I just had my shot, what, what day was it? 48 hours ago, 40, what's today? Yeah, 40, less, like 36 to 48 hours ago. So a day and a half, and that's in my window because I've tracked my data, used my free tracker to track that. So I had for lunch with me my Element, their sparkling electrolyte water, love it. And they're giving away, by the way, eight free sticks with any Element purchase down in the, the link below. So every time I order, I always get my eight free sticks, just FYI. <laughs> that's linked down below. Um, so fatigue and heartburn, and nausea, diarrhea, constipation. There's one more I'm forgetting and it's gonna drive me nuts. Basically being a good Girl Scout or Boy Scout and having stuff on hand, because here's why. For me, just because I didn't have one side effect on one dose does not mean I'm not gonna have it on another dose. So having it on 2.5 milligrams, just because I don't have it on 2.5 milligrams does not mean I don't see that other side effect on 10 milligrams, for example. So keeping that in mind, Keeping that in mind, if you buy the stuff for like constipation, diarrhea, and nausea, you can use my shopping list, get it all sent in one box. And I, I ended up using all of it. So it didn't go to waste, if that makes you feel better. For me, I'd rather have it on hand and be prepared with a covering for my first time, for my first injection. Um, next, uh, 
you may not have any of these side effects too, by the way. Really important point to make. Um, I know some people, they're like, but I haven't had any side effects. Or I haven't had any of this. Some people just don't. And that's okay too. Like, good. You, you get an extra gold star. <laughs> I kind of like having the side effects because then I'm not eating as much. Um, I use it to my advantage of the appetite suppression. Like to me, I actually kind of like not having, I, I like having side effects with them, but having, if it gets to be too severe and that's where having that conversation with my healthcare provider and for you too, is super, super important. Um, and I do think part of this too, that needs to be part of this, this checklist conversation is when you try trade up, if you try trade up, I've had a lot of people in my free group who have been on 2.5 milligrams for a long, long time and lost a ton of weight. You don't have to tie trade up. Like just keeping it. Some people have said, well, my insurance company makes me. Okay, well, that's different. But you don't have to tie trade up. If I could have stayed on longer for two point, I would have. I ended up having food chatter come back around the three week mark. And I was like, see ya. I'm going up to five milligrams. So I was only on 2.5 for the first month. If I could have gone back and done, um, 2.5 milligrams maybe for two months, maybe, because now I'm stuck. I'm at the cap. I'm at the highest possible dose. That's the first story for another day. Um, but making, if you don't have these side effects, also you may just have them later on. You may not ever have them. Um, and it may mean you need a higher dose to feel this. Some people, there's a category of people, and I think it's important to mention this to help normalize it, who are, we have hypo losers, hyper losers and then just losers. No, I'm just kidding. Just, just make sure you're paying attention. Um, I would classify myself as a hypo loser, meaning like a slow loser, but other people have said, no, you're a hyper loser. But basically people who are slower are hypo losers or I keep saying losers. I mean, responders. I don't mean, <laughs> I did this on my last video too. I mean like hypo responders. It's responders. It's not losers. I apologize. <laughs> Let's rewind. So high bow responders who are just slower. And I think that there's this expectation that you can see in the media, you can see on social media. I flash up here my before and after picture. And um, like that can be somewhat like, oh man, why am I not? Like comparison is the thief of joy. Run your own race. The race, by the way, is between you and your healthcare provider together as a team unit. Again, if you don't have that team unit, you need to find a new telehealth provider. That's why I love the company I work with. Use the discount code QUEEN because I can have these conversations. Really important. Really, really important. So, um, and if it takes you longer, as long as you get there, then I think that's the thing that it, it is, like setting expectations on that. For me, the last six months, it has been so slow, so slow on my weight loss journey. Yes, I've lost 90 pounds. Yes, I'm able to do things like fishing and Pilates and weight training and all these things I never thought I could do because I was morbidly obese and now I'm just overweight. Um, but I'm able to do it because of, you know, because of the shot. And so, but realizing that that's part of this journey. And so anyways, the point that I'm trying to get at is if you don't have side effects, it's also okay. Mitigating those side effects, you may just have them and you may not, but being prepared for me is the way I mitigate them. Having my electrolytes, having on hand some Pepto-Bismol, having on hand for Tums for the, um, the, the acid reflux and heartburn, um, having those things on hand. And I have this, again, the specific shopping list too that you can go ahead and get. If you just want to order everything and have it in your household, totally. I do think from my own personal opinion, constipation and diarrhea, very much triggered by what I'm eating. And so playing and testing with that, which is why I would recommend using my free side effects tracker to see what, what is the problem. You know what I mean? Like, not the problem, but where the patterns are. That pattern recognition, super important, super important. So sweet friends, I hope this checklist has been helpful for you. Download it below on thehannesofshopping.com. It's in that description. Again, you need to hit that dot, dot, dot more button here on YouTube description twice. That's the second time. Um, I want to know your accountability, accountability question. What are you doing today to move you closer to your goals? And number two, we do emojis here at Countess of Shopping. Our emoji today is going to be a check. That will tell me you made it this far in the video. If you did, I want to get to know you better because I care. So put the check emoji down below and I will also pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I'll uplift you in positive thought. Sweet friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. And don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys.